I'm your host Lutz Stratmann and today we're going to unbox the Amstead Pico development kit. So this is how it arrives. You take off the sleeve and open the box. And inside you will find the Amstead Pico development board um, with the Amstead Pico already mounted to it and with a micro SD card. You will further find an activation code to download at my.pansense.com the software PS Trace for Windows, um, a micro USB cable, some standoffs, an adapter for your SD card and a battery clip, a sensor cable, one of our dummy cells for crocodile clips, and two adapters for screen printed electrodes. Furthermore, we have a quick start, which is a step-by-step -step in instruction of what I'm doing here today. Then, it is always very handy to have an overview of the connections on this card, that you have for the connections on the Amstead Pico board, that you can always use it as a reference. Okay, today we're going to use our dummy cell. The dummy cell has four different uh, circuits that can be used for different tests. Today we're going to use the working electrode C circuit, which is the Randall circuit, because it's a nice circuit for impedance spectroscopy. You just connect your working electrode to the working electrode C, your counter electrode to the pad marked CE, and your reference electrode to the pad RE. So we have connected our dummy cell, and now we want to connect our development board. Um, before you connect the development board to your Windows computer, make sure you have installed PS Trace. As I said before, you can download it on my.palmsense.com. With your activation code, you can make an account and just download the software um, to the computer that you need. You can also download it to multiple computers and you can always download the newest version. And then to the computer. And you will see a blue light on the Amstead Pico indicating that it is powered. Okay, when you start PS Trace for the first time, then you will get uh, the setting screen. That's not so important for most of the time, except you're in a country where 50 hertz is not the mains frequency. Then you should change the mains frequency to 60 hertz in this setting. Also, the help files for the principles of PS Trace will pop up, and I recommend to read these. It just takes a few minutes, but for now, we're going to skip these as well. To start your measurement, you're going to, uh, um, you will have to first connect the development board to the software. Uh, for that, you need to make sure that in the drop down menu in the top left, the Amstead Pico development board is selected. If it's not in the list at all, you should um, click the refresh button and then it should appear in the list. When you press the connect button, you get the message that you're connected to the Amstead Pico and you can start entering your parameters. Well, in this in this video, just for saving some time, I will load um, a set of method parameters so that we can just start with our measurement. You can easily do that by clicking on method and then load a method file. So we're looking for um, PS dummy cell ice on WEC for Pico. Then we're opening that one and all the measurement parameters we need are already loaded into the um, into the method editor. When you have done that, you just need to press the run button, which looks like a green triangle, and the measurement will start. So as typical for impedance measurements, the first points will go very quickly on the very high frequencies. The lower the frequency, the more the measurement will slow down. In the middle, you will see uh, the Nyquist plot because that is the kind of plot I have selected in the uh, top left of the uh, plot window and on the bottom right you will always see a border plot. 
Um, you just save some time. We will now skip to the end of the measurement and not wait uh, here in real time. After your measurement is finished, you can easily save it by going to the top menu, to the data button, and press save data. And then choose the folder where you want to save your data, enter a name, demo for example, and save your file. If you want to um, perform exactly the same method with your own software that you have programmed for your, um, for your project, you can do that easily by pressing the show method script button. And this way you see the code that was sent to the Amstead Pico to perform this uh, measurement. And when you copy it um, to the clipboard and use the snippet to, um, in your own software for your embedded project, you can easily reproduce exactly the same measurement that you have done here today with uh, PS Trace. Okay, this concludes our unboxing video. Please feel free to browse our other videos. And if you don't want to miss any new videos, subscribe to our channel. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.